Top of the time zone, everybody. This is Freddie J with Freddie J Sports. We are back and with a vengeance. We are currently doing the TGC Tours qualifier so that way we can get into perhaps the challenge circuit at this point because we're currently 14 over for the tournament. And after round three's collapse, it's looking kind of bleak. However, I did recently check the leaderboards and we're currently 29th. We're tied for 29th out of the possible 58 participants. And uh, the top five scores, I believe, are about 10 under or something like that. So we need to lock in. We've spent a lot of time practicing as soon as I got home from work. We did some research, and one of the things I noticed was that I was playing with a variant frames per second. We had ranges from 80 to 120, and I believe that's what was causing us to have terrible swings at times when it felt like it wasn't. So we're going to play our final round at Barry Linden. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll have, well, we clearly can't be any worse than from what we had in round three, right? Clearly. So, without further ado, let's play the final round of our qualifier. If you are new to the channel, and you like golf, you like sports, you like gaming... Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Freddy J Sports. Now here we are at the first tee. Let me get this mouse out of the way. We are playing on PC, by the way. All right. 560 yards. Wind is a lot calmer than we saw from last time. Starting off with not the best swing in the world, but it is a swing. 288 yards. Now at the second. This one is very demanding. I'm going to lay up. Perfect. That one's going to be safely on the fairway so we can uh, set up our next shot. That should be under 130 to the cup. Oh, yeah, that's actually 68 yards. We're definitely going to do a little bit here. So I have a lob wedge in hand. It's 21 feet upward. I think I'm going to club up once. And we goof there. And that is not what we needed. All right, so we're going to try again. Well, that is not going to help at all. And now we have a long putt for par. What was that? I honestly don't have a single read on this. Well, there was no chance that was going in, but at least we got it up there for bogey. Something we don't want to do is bogey on a par 5, but given the circumstances of that approach, which is something I've, I've stated time and time again was going to be an issue, we need to do better on our approach shots. And right there, we blew it both times trying to get up that hill. But time to shake it off and move on to the next hole. As we stated, we're not going to see this hole again. This is the last time before uh, 
the tournament cycles back around here. 406 yards to the cup. And this one, despite the wind direction, it's going to land in the bunker. We've been avoiding that bunker all tournament. And now it finally is time to play it. And that was just simply a rushed swing. We were fortunate enough that we was able to get some distance. But unfortunately, that is not enough. And now our next shot is going to be a flop for birdie, which I do not have any faith in. Not necessarily because with these settings. Well, it had a good roll. Fortunately, that's not going to be enough. And now this is going to be a 15-foot putt, slight left or right, for par. That might be breaking a little bit too much, and it does. Starting off with back-to-back -back bogeys is not on the bingo card, but it happened. Currently 16 over for the tournament. You dropped the uh, 10 frames on that one. All right. Another bad swing. We're going to try to keep calm here. 283 yards. Still not as bad, but not what we were looking for. I don't know if I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to aim right at the flag. All right. Looks like the hill, the incline from us being uh, ball low, end up being the play. The wind was not a factor. And so now this is an interesting putt here. 63 feet, a mound literally right here. This is bad news all the way around. I'm going to make sure we step, we, we stop right before. Let's hope the mound takes it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. That is probably going to be one of the best putts to get as close as possible. Insane play. That was one of the greatest par saves. Well, that was the greatest birdie putt that didn't go in, honestly, that I've seen out of this round. Like, the read, yes, we didn't sink it, but the fact that we was on to something with that layout was pretty spectacular. Like, if anything out of this tournament, I think that and the play off of round one, well, the play I was talking about where it was heading out of bounds, it actually landed out of bounds, bounced up over the wall, it back into play. Those are probably one of the two craziest moments that happened during this tournament. And now here we are on the fourth. This one might be bunker bound. Not quite. Fought through it. I was very fast. It's going to barely hop on the green. And lands. 
It's not the best shot in the world, but given the circumstances, I think we'll go ahead and take that as a small victory. Now, this is 31 feet for birdie. Let's see if we get our first one. That one's a little bit too high. It comes back around, but not quite what we were looking for. A good putt for par. So we still are 16 over for the tournament. We're dropping back. I think last time we looked, we might be dropping to 30th. I, I want to at least be in part of the top percentile. But with with a score right now, like we needed this, we needed to start hot. We needed birdies immediately. We we haven't gotten one yet. We just got bogeys, and we, we really need a little bit more of that, of not the bogeys. We, we need pars and birdies, but we're guaranteed. I can guarantee you we can make par. It's just a matter of getting birdies. That's the one thing we haven't seen on the scorecard often, and when we did, there was bogeys with it. And that tee shot is not going to help us. It's going to be flirting with the rough. Hopefully it's not too di uh, deep, and yeah, we're in the thick stuff. Not the best stroke there. All right, now we're going to have to use some club here. Going with the three hybrid. Hopefully get a good punch out of this. That's a perfect. Let's see if it fights through and goes up to... This is a false front right here. Well, it, it didn't make the green, but we do have a chance to stop this right on the dime if we work on it. A bit slow, but I think it's going to work out in our favor. Because look at this. Look at this. We could have probably tightened it up a little bit, and we would have probably gotten better results. But... This is a six-foot putt for par. If we could just keep making par instead of bogeys, I think we'll be okay-ish in regards to not losing any more spots. But I want to move up on the leaderboard. So this par three, I, I, I want to get close. And I don't think I can do that with with this whole location. Unless I could fly this one right on the money. Because there, there's no forgiveness right here. There's no forgiveness. If I go right, this is rolling off. If I go left, this one's rolling and it's going to be... I literally have to put this right here. And I don't think that's fair for amateur golfers. And that one is going wide right. That didn't even make the green. Well. And that one is not even on the green either. Finally, a perfect, but uh, that's still going to roll off. We have not. Let, let's just go ahead and put this thing for crying out loud. And looks like we're going to double bogey. All right. Another big collapse. All because of a terrible tee shot. Looking back, I feel like playing it safe was probably the better option because at least we'd have been putting. But yeah, this, this course is not forgiving for a qualifying tour. This is like they put a lot of 
elite and kinetic tour courses on here. And so everyone else has to suffer. This is like something that will be best for like three click golf because what in the world? You have to have like a perfect PC or something. Time to recalibrate again. Now, let us be clear. That was all luck. That we hit that mound and it rolled around the bunker. We can't afford that again. And that one's too far to the left, and we're not going to get any spin. We're celebrating because we made it onto the green, but this is not a celebratory putt right here. This is 27 feet. This one, highly possible we can miss. Yeah, that was too fast, and that's going to roll off the green. Now, this is 13 feet for par, and this is a par 5, too. So, if we make another bogey here, that's going to drive us insane. We save par. Well needed. Give us a little bit of a confidence boost here. Now we have a par 3 in our hands. And we definitely butchered that one. Again, a long way from the hole. Fifty six feet. This will be the longest putt. I don't have any uh expectations. I just want to get this thing close. That's gonna be too fast. Off the green. Is it going to turn? Yes, it will. Another nice par save from off the green. We're going to get a replay here. Could have elected to chip it, but was like, no, just, just go ahead and putt this thing. There's, there's no reason to play around with it. Just, just putt it and get it in there. Because chipping it, we probably wouldn't have been able to chip it in. Still 18 over after 8. Alright, we need to slow down. Our tee shot. And there we go. That is what we need. Just don't roll too far into the bunker. Here we are with our second shot at the ninth. Making great time. 18 minutes. Keeping up with the same pace. I'm going to put some backspin on it. And air this one. That was very fast. Oh, he threw a tantrum with that. Oh my goodness. He was definitely pissed about that one. Can't get a break with this. Man, that went way too wide. This is for par now. 10 feet. Can you make a 10 foot putt with this read? Yes, you can. 
So far, four over for the day. As we're halfway done with the final round, it's looking kind of bleak. Let's see if we can uh, do something here at the 10th. Got that. Nice. It's going to hit this mound, so it looks like the wind wasn't going to do much. Let's see how much it kicks forward. Got a nice 20-yard boost with that. Well, this one looks friendly towards our... our issue here. So let's go ahead and play with it. Well, wasn't expecting it to go that severely. <sighs> Still very fast, and that's going to fly right by. All right, this is for par. This will be our third putt off the green. That one's not going to make it, and that's going to roll a bit too. That's definitely not what we needed right there. If we're going to miss, I want it to stop right by the hole. Because that putt screwed us up. So now we're facing with double bogey. And look at this. Again, another tough start. As we drop back more. Here we go, par three. I think this is the one where we almost went out of bounds. There we go. Oh my goodness, don't tell me that is short. I don't believe it. You thought you had the right club. It ended up not being the right club. So. We might be able to save par now. Emphasis on might, because what was that break? All right. Surely we won't make as many bogeys as we did on round three. Question is, are we going to actually make any birdies? It's a bit off. It's going to be right. You can blame the win on that as well. Do you think you actually have a shot? If this goes halfway, I don't think you want to go with that. You might as well just put this in the fairway and take your loss. That's probably the best thing you could do, could have done. Because trying to go for it to try to get greedy was not going to help. That is for sure. Now, that one's a bit far, but 
We had a little bit of backspin, but that was not enough to put it back on. This is, again, 30 feet for birdie. This will be huge for us if we can make it. Straying a little bit. Ooh, just a little bit too slow. I'm not sure why I said it was a bit slow. It was just too fast. It needed to go slower. 21 through the tournament. All right. Now we're at the 13th. The tee shots feel a little bit better. But we still got a lot of work to do for next week. I honestly, I honestly don't want to hit a pitching wedge because I don't want this one to be short for no reason. And that's a perfect. Still going a bit to the right. Honestly, I'm okay with that. I am truly okay with that. It's very fast. Not bad. This is going to be a good par. Just make sure you apply enough for the break. Good drop. Getting a little bit better. However, our score, not so much. I believe we are 7 over for the day. See, if this was me on normal days, I would stop keeping track of my score and just be like, all right, how many balls did I lose? Luckily, we haven't lost any at this round, but the point is still the same. Now... We aimed that far to the right. Do you uh, do you think it did that to make it worse on us? Or was it the wind or what? Look how outrageous this one is. That was 81 feet, by the way. Wasn't as fancy as the other one, but it got the job done. We have a seven-foot putt for par now. I like how we're back to our original selves, bogeys and pars. Or worse. Still 21 through 14. And that's over, not under. We're not that good. <laughs> Here you are, the par 4, 15th. 473 yards. My goodness. Perfect. You don't get to say that a lot, but uh, we're on the hill. I'm going to go with this three iron right here. Three iron right here. Wow. Like, it said screw the mound and not kick it. All right, let's see. How do you want to plan this one? All right, clearly, it's going to do that. That 
That might have been the right move. Might be a little bit too fast, though. Oh, my goodness. You called it. Well, at least this bogey is going to be a tap-in. I don't want to say that because there was a point in, I think, either round two or three where I missed what was supposed to have been a tap-in and I was just radio silent for like three minutes in disgust. So hopefully we learn from our mistakes. Uh, here's another par five, the 16th. I'm going to use this fairway so I can have a clear sight of what I'm doing. And I probably went too far. Yep, I did. But this is not going to hurt us too much. Ooh, but that might. We still got some yards on the fairway, but it was not. It Listen, that was not our best shot. Okay, that was not. Uh, So that's the gap wedge. Let's go sand on the hill. Perfect. That's going a little bit right because that's the wind. Let's see if it has any turn. It does have turn. But it's going away from the hole. Is it going to turn back? It could turn back. All right. And now this is for birdie, 13 feet. Good look at birdie, too. A little bit of left to right movement, but we'll see how bad this is. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was a bad turn. Like, right idea, but the speed is just way too fast for, for you know, the ball to turn like how you want it to. We get the par as we have two holes left and we're running through this pretty fast, but we still have yet seen a birdie on the scorecard for today. That kind of breaks my heart a little bit because I was really hoping that, you know, and, and it's not necessarily more of, oh, I wouldn't necessarily say anything was wrong with my swing today. Like I just made a bit of made a bit of 50-50 decisions and maybe we just need a little bit more time. We're hitting a lot more perfects now. It's just a matter of these approaches at this point cuz approaches have been what's killing us. See I'm going to play it smart this time and let the ball roll downhill. Perfect. Like, I think that was a great decision. Now let's see if it pays off. Not quite what we had in mind. I was thinking it was going to more, roll more down. It didn't. And now this is still a long putt. This one is not easy. I'm smart. I'm going to play this one short too. Because knowing me, I would goof up on it. Now, this is going to go under the hole. But as long as it stays on the green, it's not going to stay on the green. <laughs> I, I, I knew it. As soon as, as, soon as it wasn't going to stop, it was going to be an issue. Alright, 
this is for par. How many times are we going to put it off the green for par? We're going to get some more off the green merch for this. <laughs> like, straight up. The Texas Wedge is what they call putting off the green. We can make those putts. Still 22 over as we head on to the final hole. It's really sad that uh, we haven't been able to get a birdie to move anywhere, but... We've just been having the the moral of the story is to do better on our approach shots, and sometimes our tee shots too. Cause what was that? Like, yeah, we're on the fairway at two fifty five, but at the same time, we could have probably hit it three hundred yards and did a lot more damage. Perfect. However, that wind is going to carry that thing way far out. Yep. All right. Uh, no shot for birdie. But here goes nothing. 96 feet. That's going to be under the hole. It broke. Well, hold on. Well, that's going to be short. Well, can we at least make par? There we go. A somewhat mid-ending to a round we did eight over. So we did approve. We did improve from that disastrous ten over, but only by two strokes. We finally finished a round at, yep, eight over. 22 over for the round. So we may have dropped a few spots. But, yeah, I, I don't have much else to say about that. I'm very disappointed, but I'm glad that we've identified what was perhaps one of the major problems that we know we need to work on, and that's with our approach shots. So that's going to conclude today's coverage of TGC Tours qualifying action at the Danny Linden. We appreciate everybody for coming out. Sorry, the Barry Linden. Sorry. We appreciate everybody for coming out. As you can see here, I'm pretty much dead last. Well, I don't think I'm dead last, but I feel like there may have been scores that have been outbeaten at by that. But still. So coming up in the next weeks, we're going to get our results. Perhaps maybe on Saturday. And then after that, we're going to go and play our first tournament. Hopefully live on this channel. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to turn on. So when we do go live, you'll be there for it. This is going to do for this uh, video. Appreciate everybody again for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.